there and welcome back to my channel in this week's video i'm going to be sharing with you the process of two paintings i did a few weeks ago so beginning of this year sadly my little kitten uh died she passed away um her name was penny and uh she was amazing and i've been wanting ever since to paint her to have her uh, a few paintings of her in my bedroom wall I've been gathering the courage to do so and finally thankfully I have and I decided to do a frontal portrait and then a side portrait as well of her and uh, that's what we're going to be doing today so um, I start off by priming the painting uh, I use these canvas boards uh, I don't actually like real canvas, so I use these canvas boards, they're very simple, um, and I just, I just like them a lot, so yeah. I used gouache paint for the majority of this process and added a few details in acrylic where I needed the paint to not be reactivated ever. Um, I used blue for the background and I add her, added her collar. Uh, she had a red collar with white dots and uh, in the beginning you can see that I also added a star um, I later on removed that star she used to have a star pendant um, in her collar but it kind of looked off and it was too big and I didn't really like it so I just preferred the simplistic collar look didn't even add any buckles or anything no details to it I just wanted something really simple because the focal point is her and the red just pops and everything so yeah so I want to tell you guys a little bit about Penny. Um, she was a great cat. I adopted her when she was around five or six months and she was greatly afraid of people and hens specifically. Um, next day after adopting her, I was in uni by the way, living in a shared house, um, went out to a store, saw her. She had this like angry face. She always had this resting bitch face and I just saw that expression of hers and fell in love with her so I just decided to you know um, bring her home with me and give her a home and the uh, next day she got really really sick so I had this kitten that was really really sick but I couldn't touch her because she wouldn't allow me to she was a very aggressive and scaredy cat and all of that so it was very difficult to deal with it the uh, next two weeks we spent all like I would go every two days to the vet um, a lot of vet bills everything and yeah slowly she started to warm up to me and I think she understood that I was there to help and that she could trust me that I would always you know respect her and I wouldn't treat her badly because I honestly think that in those five months of her life she got beat up a lot I honestly think that and I think she was in cages or something because she wouldn't jump much so yeah um she slowly grew closer and closer to me she would always sleep with me sleep on my shoulder uh, she was a big ass cuddle bug she loved to be cuddled she loved to be petted she just wanted all the attention she would spend the whole day on your lap didn't give a shit she was on you at all times she loved eating with me she loved to just sit on me while i drew um she loved watching tv shows with me and watching me play games um she loved hudson and rex because of the dog she loved the german shepherd and she would definitely watch it with me um yeah she was she was my my company and she was amazing um she loved pancakes she went crazy for pancakes and she went she started to eat popcorn <laughs> but she was so silly because she couldn't eat it she wanted to eat it but she couldn't eat it so i'd end up with little um, mushed pieces of popcorn all around my room so yeah she had um she loved her bed it was a white bed um white and pink bed and she loved her bed um and her scratching post she loved her scratching post 
She was also a big foodie, like she loved to eat always um i used to share my yogurts with her <laughs> like i would eat yogurt and she would get the lid um and i know a lot of people don't like the whole thing concept of giving food to animals like i gave her really good dry food for cats like that it was always controlled like she had the amount she needed she was never overweight she was always around right amount of weight and she was always hydrated so she was very well fed but she was just a glutton like she loved food of every type so yeah she was an amazing cat and uh yeah if you have a little pet please hug them for me um and uh yeah give them show them some love because you never know you know how short time you have with them you know we always expect to have them for 10 15 years and then it gets cut short and you just unexpected so give them a hug give them a kiss and uh yeah i don't know what else to say this is just a very simple video um i just wanted to paint this i decided to film it as well because i do think that um i don't know i just wanted to film it and uh to share it with you guys
this video please let me know give me your opinions what do you think about the pet portraits um which one is your favorite is it the one that you can see her from the front or the one where you can see her from the side um tell me do you have a cat that's like her i know there's a lot of cats online that look just like her so yeah and does your cat also have a resting bitch face <laughs> I just loved her resting bitch face, it was amazing. Uh, and yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's anything specific you'd like me to draw or paint for you. And uh, I will see you on next week's video. Bye!